Hello everyone, my name is Amit Chopra from Refinitiv and welcome to part 3 of our conversations with Mr. Mukaram Atasi, who is the Head of Investment Management at National Bank of Fajera. Um, Mukaram, we've spoken about financial planning, we've spoken about goal setting and how important that is um, as well. I have one more data point that I want to share with you. As a banker, only 12% of the population that is planning and setting a goal is using a professional to do that. Uh, now, as a banker, that obviously means that there's a large population of people that are not seeking professional advice. I think it's 35% who go with friends and family and 25% who try and do it themselves. So please introduce us to why, what does a bank provide as a service or any financial advisor provide as a service and why do we need one? We need one, we, need, we seek professional advice just like in any other profession, right? We seek, uh, when we are not feeling well, we go to, to seek a doctor's opinion. When we want to send our children to schools, we go and seek uh, educational uh, opinions. In financial matters, it's as important as in any other matter to seek a, a financial opinion because a lot of people are unaware of um, the debt burden that they can get themselves into and the solutions that they are they require to to earn a um, decent amount of returns to at least cover the inflation so to take a cue from that you've mentioned time and length of time that is required for investment a few times in the previous episodes as well that we need to start early if i were to say retire at 65 or 55, could you quantify what is early or what kind of time frames are you looking okay. at? Okay, very early would be 30 years. Okay. Reasonably early would be 15 to 20 years. And that, that way you, you put less stress on yourself. So 15 years is essentially, you know, we would be saying, is the minimum that you I should try and give yourself. I would say it's the minimum because you will still have achievable returns uh, realistic returns without taking too much risk where you will be where you will be able to achieve a 7% return to meet those retirement objectives perfect in our next conversation we'll talk about what those solutions are and how they look like but thank you very much thank for joining you. us for this one thank you guys